Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another episode. So we're starting out with part one here of the Jupiter 2 from Lost in Space. So I've got the instruction manual here and yeah, I'm pretty much going to follow it starting out with the lower hull, the fusion core here, and then moving on to the landing gear. So we've got the kit landing gear here and uh, pull it out here and we'll take a look at it and I've got two different types of landing gear for this kit so we need to examine these and see what we're going to use so we've got the kit gear here with the steps uh, we got the side walls that attach to the sides of the steps we have the strut portion here of the landing gear which attaches to the hull and then attaches to this foot piece here of the landing gear. And this is all, you know, a plastic or a resin that this is all made out of. But I've also got what my client sent me is this uh, Hero landing gear, which is a third party set of landing gear. And if we take a look at it inside here, let's pull this out. We've got the bottom portion of the landing gear here, which as you can see is a bit smaller than the kit landing gear. You can see that right here. Then we've got the struts here, and this third party has done it with tubing, so that you got the smaller tubing going inside the larger tubing. But you can also see compared to the uh, kit gear, these are much thinner diameter by well more than half and you can see that right there it's it's quite a bit smaller and then we've got some little strips of styrene here and then we have this etching here for the steps and for the sides of the steps and the bottom itself and these are pretty thin also a little bit thinner than the uh, kit sides as you can see but not much they're pretty close but the laser you know has a pretty clean cut um, sharp edges and it looks pretty nice so the first thing I need to do is go over this with my client to decide which gear we want to go with so I'm going to show him the options here how they look how the third party is slightly smaller and uh, just go over my thoughts on it and after talking to my client we have decided to forego the third party gear and we're actually going to go with the kit gear and we have decided to go with the kit gear because there's actually a little more detail especially in the struts and it will also allow me to do something down the line that I'm planning on doing so I've moved from the sprue we have this bottom plate here which goes underneath the steps and we have a plate here that goes into the foot, the strut, the steps themselves, and the sides. And you can see on these sides there's some numbers stamped in them which I will have to sand down. There's also some little areas of flashing here from the mold which will have to be sanded down. Um, though most of this will not be easily seen once the steps are put in place it will be pretty much hidden anyway. So I've got all three sets of landing gear uh, removed from the sprues as you can see right here so at this point I'm just gonna use my uh, super glue cap put some super glue on there and I'm gonna use my applicator and I'm just gonna start taking super glue and applying it inside these little grooves here on the first side piece and running it along so that I can attach it to the steps and glue it in place like I'm doing here I'll just take the steps, press it into position, and hold it in place for a few seconds and let the glue dry. Then we take the strut, and uh, the little eyepiece goes over the pin here. And then I just apply some more glue into the grooves of the second side, as you can see here. And you can also see I sanded the numbers off, it's nice and clean. And I attach the other side to the steps. Um, with the little pin going in the hole holding the strut in position. 
Then it's time to put some glue into the base of the landing gear here. And once I get my glue in place here, I'm going to just push it on to the end of this strut for the landing gear and hold that in position till it dries. And this plate here will eventually glue to the underside of the steps. Oops, I got that upside down. But this will glue to the underside of the steps, but I will not do that until after I have painted them because I want it to be painted on the inside as well. So on my third set of landing gear here, this strut, I am going to replace with some tubing. I'm going to be using a 3 16 inch brass tube that I have in hand and a 5 32 inch aluminum tubing which I have on hand. And this is so that I can run wires through the landing gear to power the Jupiter 2. And the sizes of these, they um, telescope together like so and they fit nice and snug together as you can see here. And actually if you look at it next to the kit piece it's the exact same diameter and looks the same and you get that little step there because they telescope together. So I've cut out my brass piece and my aluminum piece also shave the end to the same degree and this kit piece I need to remove the eye in the bottom portion here and attach it to my tubing. So you'll also notice these two little holes here on the kit piece. There's two holes on either side of the bottom of this strut. So I've gone and I've marked with the sharpie on my brass piece and I've got a drill bit here that's the same diameter so I can drill all the way through my brass piece to create those same holes. And I've taped it down to a block of wood here as you can see. And then I've got a Dremel drill press right here. And I'm going to use that and drill through my brass piece and recreate those holes. So I'm just going to start slowly drilling down through and then it'll come out the other end and I'll have holes on either side of my tubing. And I've drilled down through my brass tube and again these two holes you can see my two holes in the brass tubing and it goes all the way through so that I have a set of holes on either side. And then once I take my aluminum tube and slide it inside the brass tube you can see it's just a little indentation just like on the uh, kit piece so I've gone and I've removed this bottom portion from the kit strut and my tubing will just glue right to the end of it here like so and you can see those little holes that I drilled out there and the eyepiece I will glue to the edge of my brass tubing. I'm also going to drill through the bottom piece here starting out with a little drill bit but eventually going to my 7 seconds drill bit to make a good size hole for my wires to come through for powering the Jupiter 2. And you can see the hole going all the way through there into the bottom portion and then I will just glue my tubing and it will run all the way through my tubing down through this bottom portion. So I've glued those pieces into position onto the brass tubing and you can see that eyepiece there that attaches to the uh, landing gear portion. And I've gone and I've attached it to the third set of landing gear as you can see here. And then I've gone and I've primed all the landing gear with a Tamiya white primer. This one being my tubing and the other two being the kit plastic and you can tell they basically all look the same. And then I've gone and I've painted them with a Tamiya Mica Silver TS76 uh, spray can and I really like the shade of silver. So since I was doing that I went ahead and primed the lower hull of the Jupiter 2 and I also spray painted it with the uh, mica silver. So now it's just a matter of taking the landing gear 
and sliding it into the lower hole here and just kind of twisting it in there. And then you take these little tabs on the inside and slide it over the lower hole and lock it into position. And then it's taking the strut and pulling it forward and locking it into this hole in the bottom there, like so. So all three of my landing gear I have now locked in place and glued in place inside the lower hull of the Jupiter II. Moving on here we have the side pieces and door for the inside wells of the landing gear. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those from the sprues and have those cut out. And there's some flashing and little pieces that need to be trimmed off and cleaned up before they're installed and painted into the hull. So I've got them all uh, cut out here and cleaned up and all the flashing removed. And I've gone and I've spray painted them all like everything else with my uh, Tamiya Fine White Primer as you can see here. And then I've gone and I've airbrushed these with a Tamiya XF16 Flat Aluminum. And I've used that to have a slightly different shade of silver as opposed to the hull. And you can see when I remove the tape here from the door, because I just wanted the frames painted silver, or rather aluminum, you can see the aluminum there, the difference. So I've gone and I've put some uh, tape over these sidewall pieces, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to airbrush in a to me a German gray into the holes to make them pop and stand out and then when I go and remove my tape here you can see nice clean holes in the uh, side pieces here the walls and I've got all of them painted now as you can see and then I'm going to take my medium gray XF20 and I'm going to airbrush the entire door with this medium gray and fill the entire door in at this point. And then I'm going to, with some tape, mask off the lower portions of the door, leaving the upper portions exposed. And I'm going to use this neutral gray Tamiya XF53, and I'm going to airbrush that over the raised portions of the door, leaving the rest of the door the uh, medium gray. And then I'm just going to pull off my little tape masks that I created here. And you can see I've got the uh, door painted where the inside portion is the medium gray and the raised portion is the neutral gray. We've got these little control panel push button and this lower one I'm going to drill out and make a uh, fiber optic so that it can light up. So I'm going to start out by drilling a hole with a 0.75 millimeter drill bit. And you can see I drilled out the hole. And what that allows is a piece of half a millimeter fiber to run inside that hole so that I can run light to it and the lower button of the uh, panel there, control panel, will be lit up. And then I've drilled a hole in the back portion of the hole here where the door attaches to. The door slides right into here. And you can see if I take the door here and slide it into position like so, you can see the large hole and the little hole that I drilled out for the fiber. So I've gone and I've painted the little control panel, done the upper button white, and then I got my hole here. And next moving on is installing the clear plastic window into the back side of the door. So I'm just going to put that window in place here. Then I'm going to take some of my super glue with my applicator and just put some drops on the bottom portion here and apply some drops to the upper portion as well and I'm going to glue this plastic window into position.
The manual had suggested with the window painting the back side of the hull black, but I'm using this electrical tape here and I'm just going to take a piece of electrical tape and I'm just going to tape it over the window now, which technically I guess I didn't even need to glue it into position, but with that you can see black behind the plastic window. So I'm going to take my finished door and I'm going to slide it into position here into the lower hull well portion and I'm going to apply some super glue to these tabs and glue the door into position into the lower hull. So with my door now glued in position I'm going to take my side panels that I had painted previously and I'm going to go ahead and slide those into position and those just push down like so and snap into place pretty snugly and take my other side panel and do the same and push it and slide it into position and I will be gluing those into position as well to keep them in place so I've got all three of them glued in place all three doors and all the side pieces for the landing gear wells and you can see here how it looks on the underside all glued into position and a little test with blue fiber optic feeding into the lower control panel. Moving on we've got the fusion cores here. We have a fusion core with extended fins as you can see right here on the sides and we have a fusion core with retracted fins and I need to show these to the client to see which one he would prefer. So I've painted both of them with the same mica silver that I painted the lower hole with and here we have the extended fin fusion core in place on the lower hull and here we have the retracted fin fusion core in place. I've sent this to my client and we have decided to go with the retracted fin fusion core. He likes that one the best. So that will be glued into position right here which I have not done yet but once it's glued into position eventually I have this lighting piece here which he sent along with the kit which will be glued into position as well and I'm just giving you a little teaser here but you can turn the light on and you can see how the fusion core will light up and the lights will rotate and this is kind of a little tease of how that will look so at this point I'm calling this part of my build done the entire lower hull painted, landing gear, inside landing gear wells all painted and done up. And I'm happy with how this is turning out so far and uh, looking forward to moving on to the next phase. So until next time, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.